Today, we go head to head against the Madden legend, RBT, in a one hour speed rebuild challenge. Basically the way it's gonna work is we're both controlling the Titans. We start at eight and nine, and we have one hour to do re-signs, trades, free agency in the draft to make our team as good as possible. And to make this more interesting, whichever one of us builds the better team gets to pick any charity for the other person to donate $500 to. But lastly, before we begin, I wanna give a huge shout out to RBT for being in this video. The guy's an absolute legend. So if you're somehow not subscribed to him, go subscribe. His channel link will be in the description. And if you like this kind of video, hit the like button. Let me know in the comments who you want me to do this against next. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button while you're at it. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers and every single subscriber helps. So with all that said, the clock starts now. now. RBT does have a slight advantage because he is a fan of this team. Even as a lifelong diehard Titans fan, I can admit the current state of this team is absolute garbage. The offensive line is just so bad. I would like to bring Derrick Henry back. And I will gladly give him the money that he wants because I don't want him to end up a Raven. He wants a two-year deal. I'm going to offer him 11 mil with like a five mil bonus. Oh, he's going to resign. That was a lot easier than I expected. This is a huge offer, but I think it's going to be worth it. And Derrick Henry's excited to return to Tennessee, at least in this universe. Well, Sean Murphy Bunting, uh, I don't want to give you three years and we'll see where that goes. Yeah, he's not interested in that. I'll give him a fat contract if that's what he wants. Hopefully that's enough and at least we have another good corner. But let's pick up Caleb Farley's fifth year option. And yeah, I think we're gonna leave everyone else here. We also have like no depth at all at safety. So Terrell Edmonds, hopefully he won't end up being the starter, but I, I just hope he'll come back at least to be the backup and he does. So we're just now under a hundred million dollars left to spend. Ooh, aside from Danico Autry, he's another guy. Look at what we have it left in. But a bare minimum, we have Danico back. And after that, I think we're done with the re-signing phase, which I did that in under five minutes. So I think that's a dub. So I would love Tyron Smith here. He wants almost 30 million for one year. Now the issue is he has zero interest here. I'm going to try to spread it out over three. Right now we're tied for his top offer. See, I don't like being tied with other teams, dude. Like I can't be risking it. Four and a half mil. And we now officially are in the sole lead. Josh Allen would also be a really good pickup. I'm gonna up his just a little bit and put that offer in. It's honestly not a very good free agent class. We'll have to make the most of it. Kevin Zeitler would also be a good pickup. We'll put in an offer there. And yeah, let's eval the offers and see. So we didn't get Tyron Smith or Josh Allen. The moment of truth. We landed three of them. We're about 12 minutes in now. So we really got to start picking this up. So I'm doing pretty decent on time right now. Michael Pierce is interested in being here. So I'm going to up him to about 12.5 mil. Put in that offer. Let's eval again. All right. So we got Michael Pierce. That's good. Hopefully we land all three of these guys. We did land both Drew and Rudy. So I think that's all we're actually going to do in free agency. I'm going to put in a lower offer on Clowney. That has us at the top of his list for now. Okay. And we got Clowney. That's good. I'm going to do a real low risk offer to Bobby Wagner. We did get Bobby Wagner. So that's good. I think we'll try AJ Dillon on like a three-year deal. Okay. So we got a kicker and AJ Dillon signs. We got 43 minutes left. So I think it's time to start looking at some trades. But real quick, let me tell you a story. So I went to a concert the other day and had to park at some random person's house. No big deal, right? So we exchanged numbers so I can call them after the concert. And when they called me, my first name, last name, and place I grew up came up on their phone. Absolutely hated that. And the next day I made the bigger mistake of Googling all my information just to see what would come up, which I kid you not, there was so much information on the internet. Which makes it great that today's video is sponsored by Aura, which is an online service which shows me which data brokers are selling my information and helps me get it off the internet. Now, as I mentioned before, I only partner with companies that I actually like use their products because when I talk about a company, I want you to know that I actually believe in it. And since using Aura, I get less spam calls and emails and I have the reassurance that like a trusted company is watching my back and protecting me from identity theft. Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. Millions of families suffer every year. But don't just take it from me. Try Googling your phone number, your email address, any of your personal information, and just see what comes up. A little warning, you might regret it like I did. But thankfully, with my link in the description, you could try Aura for two weeks for absolutely free. That's another reason why I partner with them, because for me, I'd rather you get to try something and see if it actually fits your needs. And in this case, I know you're gonna love it just like I do. Thank you to Aura for sponsoring today's video. Now back to the rebuild. So honestly, I think 
think the move here is to go ahead and simulate to the draft, complete the NFL draft, and at that point, we're going to evaluate the roster and see what the team is looking like, and then spend the rest of our allocated time trading and trying to make this team not suck. Will the Bears take Will Levis, a second round pick this year and next for the fifth overall pick? Ooh, it's very close. What about a second and 26 as well? Okay, that's accepted. That's huge. Can I somehow package this up to get the number two overall pick? And that went through. No way. We have picks two and five now, so we can definitely get, I think, a quarterback and receiver. What if I give up next year's one? Who else has a high overall draft pick I can try to steal? Would the Jets possibly do this? They need a left outside linebacker. So how about Arden Key? I think this would push it through. And it is. Okay, that's good. I'm going young. That's my strategy. So we now have picks two, three, and five. Could I somehow make a Justin Jefferson trade work? Let's throw in that one. I mean, it's going to be really low. Eh, better than I expected. What if I give them the fifth overall pick in this draft? Ooh, okay. Let's give them a four this year as well. This is a lot, but it puts it through. Okay, that's a huge get. Let's take a look at our team to see what we need. Improving the line would be huge. Still need a defensive tackle and our secondary is not the best. Okay, we got Hurst. We got Steven Nelson, okay. 28 minutes to go. What about like your fifth string running back just to make the salary cap work? Okay, that's good. We at least get a second this year. I would love another second round pick. What about from the Bengals? They have a later pick in the second round. Okay, that goes through. I'll take that. Could we do our two seconds for pick 11? That means we got three first round picks again this year. Okay, so we got Taylor Lewan and Connor McGovern, so we're building some depth on the line. I have about 17 minutes left, and I have a plan for the draft and after that. As we're about to begin the draft, we have roughly 42, 43 minutes left on the clock. So pick one is Joe Alt. That is great. Let's just see here who goes number one. It's gonna be Caleb Williams. What a shocker. I mean, we're definitely going quarterback. I mean, I think Caleb is the best prospect, so we're gonna take him. Hidden dev. We just gotta pray he's got something real good. So now Bear are up next. They... Oh, I just messed up. I thought the Bears had the third pick. We had the third pick and we picked Marvin Harrison Jr., which is fine because that's who I was going to pick anyway. I mean, I feel like at this point, at the top of my head, I'm probably going to target offensive line and JC Latham was who I wanted. Ooh, Brock Bowers to the Patriots. That is who I wanted at 11. That is tough. Malik Neighbors is still there. That's not what I expected. I would expect him to be one of the higher rated wide receivers out of this class. Is that a position of need? Hidden development? Don't mind if I do. Cooper DeGene would be really good here. Chop Robinson could be good. Amarius Mims. Who do I want though? You know what? I think we are going to go with Cooper DeGene. It would be an upgrade at corner. He has hidden dev. And as of right now, that's our last pick. But now we don't get the pick until middle of the second round. I know I probably could benefit from like trading back into the second round. But with about 12 minutes left, I have a plan. We need corner pretty bad. Now the question is, do I want to spend a pick on TJ Tampa? He's a scheme fit. He's kind of the guy. I'm eyeing here. I feel like that should do, although he is a normal development, so hopefully it's not a complete stinker. But now I don't get to pick into the fourth round. I might just go Trevin Wallace here. Pretty speedy, but he's probably a pretty low overall. Now, should I even waste my time trying to pick here in the seventh round? Like, is there anybody that even is worth taking? Look at how many good receivers are still there. Go Javon Baker, probably. He's super solid. I think he's at least worth taking a shot on in the seventh freaking round. Like, he's probably like a seventh overall, which is incredible for a seventh rounder. So now that we're in the 2024 season, I can see that Caleb Williams is a 79 overall. Marvin Harrison already an 82. Honestly, at this point, dude, I'm just hoping the Malik Neighbors pick was a dub. He's a 79. You know what, dude? That's actually a pretty incredible class. We still have 34 minutes left to go. Now I'm going to go back to the Falcons here because now I have a whole new set of draft picks. I literally have all of these draft picks that I can use, so we should be able to make a few moves at least. Gotta try and get a better quarterback. Like, I love Will Levis IRL, but they just do him so dirty in this game. You know, out of curiosity, let's try the 27-1 halfway. Like, I'm probably looking to target an 80-ish overall quarterback. I do think it's a big need, so let's try the second in here. Still not going through. Only have about eight and a half minutes. I think out of all my options, our best bet is 100% Jordan Love. And it looks like it's gonna take quite a bit under 
understandably. All right, hear me out. One, two, and three, and DeAndre Hopkins for Kyle Pitts and Calvin Ridley. Any chance. It goes through. That is massive. So heck, dude, it might just be in our best interest to go ahead and swap Will Levis in this deal. Let's see how close this is. It's in the orange, so we're getting somewhere. Maybe we could add in, like, a Kyle Phillips? You've got to be kidding me. Might be able to get, like, a seventh out of it as well. Need to just stop wasting time at this point. Trades accepted. We officially have our brand new starting quarterback with still over 25 minutes to go. But now the offense is looking pretty good. I have literally a minute left. Honestly, Rob here might be the best move. How about we add in Nicholas here for a straight up swap? It was accepted. That was pretty simple. So at least our offense is looking quite a bit better. Is there anything I can do with the secondary? We'll take Deshaun Gibson at free safety. We'll sign Shaq Griffin at corner. What about this move? Kevin Jenkins and Cole Komet. How about like a next year second? Is that enough? About halfway. What if I threw in my right guard in the deal? Much closer. And then from here, just throw in a little bit of dead weight. Brother, I don't have time for this. That's just the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. A fifth round pick though from 2027. It should be enough. And we now officially have our brand new starting right guard and tight end. Uh, you know, we'll take Jordan Hicks. 15 seconds left. I might literally run out of time while doing this. Okay, we got him signed. Barely got that one in. I think we are about to break the NFL here. Fellas, we are about to make a massive splash as the Tennessee Titans have added both Jason Kelsey and Jordan Davis. Over 16 minutes to work on the defense. Killing two birds with one stone. Two massive additions from the Baltimore Ravens. That's what they get for stealing Derrick Henry from me, IRL. It did take a lot, but I think it's worth it. Well, fellas, we got ourselves our brand new number one lockdown corner. At the same time, we heard a division rival under five minutes. Now, our biggest team need is the left outside linebacker position. Dude, half the time's taken up by me scrolling through the players. Takes so freaking long. Danielle Hunter? Oh, dude, that's so close. I just don't know if I have time to, like, actually negotiate here. Taji Spears, I love him, but, like, Derek Henry's gonna play every down for us this year. I'll submit this through and oh, that's that's got to be some sort of joke. We have 20 seconds 20 seconds to make this go through Oh no, I don't think we're gonna get the deal off that sucks. But now that the hour's up, we can't make any more moves. I mean, I still would like to think that I did a pretty decent job improving this defense. I want to sim to midseason where we're four and three, but really I want to check out what these dev traits are. First up, Caleb Williams, superstar. Okay. Ooh, I like that Marvin Harrison's already in 85. He has superstar as well. Cooper DeJean, please have superstar. He has star. I mean, couldn't win them all. Okay, well, uh, fingers crossed. Let's hope we make it to the playoffs. If we don't don't make the playoffs here like it's a pretty good chance that we get destroyed in this challenge and holy f we went dude you have got to be kidding me all right rbt are you ready to reveal how our teams did just saying i got a wedding come up that's already that's already expensive enough well i guess we're gonna see so let me ask you this who was your starting quarterback oh that's a good question it was not will levis neither was mine so my quarterback was jordan love Ooh. so my starting quarterback was caleb williams that doesn't shock me well the major question is what did your team overall get up to we are now an 84 overall i was like an 89 90 overall all right so the moment of truth let's actually tell each other let me go first i didn't make the playoffs the jags went 11 and 6 jags went 2 and 15 how does that happen i don't understand how the texans went 10 and 7 texans 4 and 13 but i went 10 and 7 we went 13 and 4 I'm sad. I literally had to show that I did not force wins and did not cheat because money was on the line and I could not do that to you. But unfortunately, we <sighs> did lose the wild card game against the Chargers. And I'm going to just guess it's something silly like 10 to 7. 17 to 16. Oh, that was kind of close though. Yeah, I feel like you got robbed just a little bit. That's what normally happens though when you play Madden. Now that Madden franchise scammed me out of the playoffs, where am I sending this $500 to? So we're going to be sending that 
$500 to the Ronald McDonald House of Los Angeles. I guess that's a half decent cause, huh? Thank you so much for being in the video. I hope you had fun. An honor to have you in a video. I've watched your videos for a long time. I had a lot of fun until the simulation ended and I, and I saw <laughs> I, I came in third place. Well, I guess that'll do it for this video. But yeah, if you enjoyed what we did here today, hit the like button, subscribe to RBT and myself too while you're at it. And with all that said, I'll see you guys next time. Be good people. Fly with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky can get high with me, that's a deal, right?